Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another episode of Timber and Stone where we get to work on this awkward kind of plot in the back here. I accidentally went in and filled a foundation and uh, built it incorrectly so I'm going back in deleting that right now. But uh, in the meantime, let's just go ahead and build this plot up real quick. This is going to be a bit of a, a little bit of a storage kind of shed. Just open air walls on, on some structure and then will be a, an open pathway through here. And this is just going to be a utility like area where people can maybe store things uh, when to be shipped out or what have you. So we'll just build this real quick like. Now I want to find some roofing tiles. And it makes the most sense to use thatch here I think. And we're just going to have a straight angle up to about the halfway mark. And then we will uh, do something just slightly different at that point. Let's do something like that. So kind of get a little head start on the looks of the shape here. Sometimes in timber and stone you need to kind of grab weird spots. So you can have a starting point to draw lines. And then from there, you're fairly free to essentially build up anything you want. You just have to make sure to go back in and pick up any of those loose areas that aren't really well established. Let's also, I think I'm gonna end up needing some scaffolding here so they can get up this uh, pole and finish construction on that. Construction walls, wood logs. Let's see, that is going to make it even to there and we'll need one more. So yeah, three, one, two, three. So it's a pretty steep roof line there, but uh, that's kind of what to expect. Scaffolding yet again. One, two, three, uh-huh, just like so. Boom, boom, boom and they should be able to access it at that point. And then we can go construction. Let's go into the roofing tabs, grab the thatch, rotate this around, spam space because I can't go backwards. There we go. And then I can delete this little marker because that's just used to get to the top level. And then we'll just have a, f it'll flatten out right there. I think if I made it one block taller for the roof, it would just uh, look a little too weird. We will have her add a little bit of a side overhang here, just so it interacts with the path a little bit. Really kind of wish there was a fabric-like roof um, so we can do some sort of actual, maybe proper, oh, uh, like market roofing that you might be able to see in real life, you know? where you have kind of these colored fabrics, uh, like a tarp. There we go, I think that's the word I was looking for, a tarp. All right, construction, walls, wood log, and all the way across, just like that. And then we can grab um, some Some thatch, again. And just compete that little overhang all the way across the beam so it just looks a little bit more complete. It might look jakey, I don't know, but uh, kind of figure that out as that gets constructed there. And then on the interior, we'll just throw in some base storage items. What's the storage we're having trouble with? Looks like wood, wood, the ever renewable resource. Never seem to have enough wood storage in our town. You can also grab some masonry. And really this is another reason to uh, have people come through this area and we'll give them access to resources if they need it, if they're nearby. And food crate here for a barrel. Just to kind of mix up the texture a little bit. 
And we can upgrade some of these uh, main storage piles so they look a little bit larger. That'd be something to do. So dig, dig, dig. Dig and dig. Cool. Looking pretty good there. And there you have it. You just have a little storage shed. You know, nothing nothing too crazy. I wanted the beginning of this to just kind of fill in this void. Um, gonna have to think of ways to make the pathway up here make some sense now, though. So let's try getting rid of that and that and just have that kind of connect straight into the roof there. And uh, that way the path just looks a little bit more supported. So walls, wood logs. Luckily this gap they can kind of really easily walk across onto. Cool. And we can go into the utility tab construction and fence and we can actually finally fin finish the uh, fence across here to uh, make that look good though I'm gonna leave I'm gonna leave the center open so uh, they don't get stuck while constructing this little part for now all right oh we have a merchant nearby sir I'll sell some cloth goods we're not really doing much with that you can see the strange shaped building that I'm planning over here this is going to end up being a joiner or possibly a cooper combined. Um, those are the guys that make like furniture and also barrels for storage. Um, it is a little bit more of a specific craftsman than say just a carpenter because we do have a carpenter already. They are attached to the dock. But um, this feels like we don't have anyone actually making the chairs and things right now. So that's why I want to add uh, this specific kind of production building and hopefully that's what we can get accomplished in this speed build today let's think about uh no clue how i want to lay out the interior or even the roof line maybe one section will be two story the other section not so much um, but i wanted to kind of leave a, an interesting shape for the grassland back here because there'll be some crates and, and other miscellaneous things just in the back filling in the void we need to also decorate some of these other back alleyways make it feel very cluttered and uh used that's kind of the best way to describe it it's getting to be an old town so we really need uh, these things to work together at this point let's uh yeah sure i'll sell some bandages can't really keep them around forever i don't think they're useful still no i'm not gonna buy any fur And yeah, I'll, I'll sell some tunics. Sure, why not? Upgrade this uh, wood pile. Uh, don't need any more straw right now. Don't need, do I need copper? Nope, okay. Go ahead and upgrade this as well. And there you have it. So let's go ahead and get into the speed build of this building here. I hope you guys enjoy that. Listen to some music. And we'll be back live uh, once it's done and we can review where we are at.
All right, so welcome back after the uh, speed build section, and it is morning and day 146. You know, I feel like I'm getting quicker and quicker at building these structures here in Timber and Stone, which is great because there's still a lot of stuff for us to do overall. But uh, this right here is the Cooper slash uh, Joiners building. Um, there are some pretty cool elements on this. Uh, one being that it's kind of similar to the blacksmith and how the blacksmith has his workshop kind of in a partially covered but open area. Um, we got that going on with this building here where a lot of the storage is like that. You know, you kind of walk in, excuse the mess, you know, he's moving chairs and tables around that he's been putting together and he needs to get this back onto market here soon. But he has a whole bunch of timber here ready to be used and then a very large workshop in timbering bench area that's, you know, exposed to the elements. Sand uh, looks pretty cool. I didn't want to add a roof or anything over these timbered frames. However, I added this like partially fallen over field stone wall that um, just looks pretty cool to have something kind of like a like a, a haphazardly put up barrier that just over time has eroded with the elements. The base structure too is pretty interesting in the sense that uh, we got some cool juts coming out and an interesting roof line. We we're really combining elements now of of the different overhangs you can do to get a layered look in timber and stone. So things are turning out really well. And also the contrast between the wooden shingled section and the red ceramic section is pretty nice and um, fairly successful, I believe, in terms of uh, aesthetic. So inside, oh my goodness, I feel like I get a trader every two minutes at this point. Just, just go away. Inside on the upper floor, we have a single wide staircase, very different compared to the other homes. Everything else has been a double wide, but uh, you know, I'm hoping nothing really gets stuck here. There's no real reason for it to, if it does. But um, up top, you know, there's just a little loft area or partial loft. There is a overhang with a railing, so you can see the lower floor a little bit. And that just makes it feel a little bit more open. And we got uh, his bedroom over here and his money, treasure chest, and all that good stuff. On the level below, we have the kind of kitchenette area, which is just basically his table and a living space. I'm thinking about adding a fireplace in this wall here. It might look pretty good and hopefully doesn't interfere too much with the shape of the building. I'm worried the chimney is not going to go up all the way which can look a little odd in timber and stone, but we'll see. In fact, no, it's definitely not gonna go up all the way. It's gonna pretty much stop right here, which is a bit of a problem, but oh well. I think that would be better than nothing. Um, I hope you guys like what we used in this little awkward, somewhat of a corner with a half circle plot, and I'll be adding some additional furniture and details out here just just crates and things ready to be shipped off. I don't know if I want it to be a covered storage area or just kind of just where he sets his stuff for uh, shipping later. Again, this is in the lower area of our town, which is the market, production, uh, fishing area. And as we go up towards the river, things will get uh, higher quality, such as proper townhomes, row homes, and also the like church. There's going to be maybe the academy that's going to be over there, which is what we need to start next. We need to actually finish the left side first, and then we can start working on the additional elements. Now, the left side, this is going to be kind of the military kind of seaside fortress that's going to keep the town safe from naval attacks and also will have uh, the first training ground for our army. So keep in mind that this is gonna be probably a, a large build to do, very similar to how the shipyard took many episodes and consisted of many ep uh, buildings kind of attached to it. This is gonna be much of the same. And it might also have its own uh, heavy, heavily fortified dock element there just to kind of counteract the heaviness on the right side. And this will just kind of pinch the town together. And at that point, we can talk about making exterior walls, the, the more fancy civil buildings, and things of that nature. So 
If you guys enjoy Timber and Stone, which I know you do, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment down below on buildings that you want to see placed around the town. I'm still taking plenty of suggestions. If I don't get to your suggestion, it's not that I don't like it, it's just I can really only build one to two buildings an episode tops just due to how long it takes them to construct it but also it is um it's just kind of uh, whatever i feel fits in the area um you know not to say that you can't go in and make a town and and add all your awesome suggestions into it but this is definitely a a good start here and hopefully the season can be wrapped up within the next year at this point it's it's gonna be a while before this whole thing is done this is the final season of timber and stone and i want it to go out with uh the best town anyone has ever made in this game or at least that i know of so thanks so much for watching and i will see you all in the next episode